Hey guys, uh, Daddy Brickhead here. Um, uh, I probably sound a little and look a little rough today. Uh, that's because I've been in bed sick all day. Uh, but I needed to get this out in a timely manner. I actually debated all day, sick here in bed, whether I wanted to do this or not. But I believe this has to be done. Um, as of you all know, uh, we were in a contest for Spreadshirt for a design that we did. Uh, we made it to a top 10 and they left it up to Facebook votes. Uh, as of last night, going to bed at 11 o'clock central time, we were in the lead only by a couple, but I kind of knew that we were going to lose this other designer. Uh, she has thousands of designs out there and I just knew she probably had a huge following and uh, every time we would make ground, she would make ground. She finally caught up with us, then we took back over. It was kind of a back and forth things with, with her. Uh, but I went to bed thinking, you know, whatever, we're going to probably end up in second. Because uh, the next closest one behind us was only at like 80 something, and we had 300. Alright, so then this morning when I got up, not only was I sick, but I was soon to get even more sick uh, after looking at the results and looking at the numbers we ended up in fourth place in this voting um, and I don't know really how to say this but I believe the person that came in first and second generated votes by creating fake Facebook accounts um, and I'm not just coming out there with that because um, I got some stuff for you guys to see alright here's a screenshot of an instant message I sent Spreadshirt uh, when I seen that there was some funny activity going uh, I gave him a screenshot of the uh, fake accounts um, that I had noticed that they were generating and then trying to use as votes. Uh, so um, I, it was probably what, what did it say, 826. Uh, hey guys, just letting you know that uh, that one of the contest designers is voting with a bunch of fake accounts, just an FYI to keep things fair. And then I included a picture of that designer's design and the other design that they had put in. Um, just to keep things fair, uh, it shouldn't be fake account voting. Um, it's just not right. Um, that's the, the European contest. Uh, scrolling down here to the bottom here. Alrighty, come on, computer. Alright, here we go. Um, here's our North American contest. Uh, Let's click on to the designs here. Alright, so here is this designer here. Um, as you can see, this number is their final number. They had over 2,000 votes. Uh, you click on to it, and you're going to get all the spillage of fake Facebook accounts. Um, they, they had, they had thousands uh, thousand freaking fake Facebook accounts on here um, as you can see they also have some business accounts on here that they also voted with here's no Ratu fan um, th this one stuck out to me first um, yeah some anime stuff and then this guy J Otis uh, yeah yeah fake if you look up here uh, his account was made in uh, at 1:33 a.m. Yeah, let's hit another one here. Elizabeth had Elizabeth had oh her account was 2:07 a.m. Fake, 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 fake. All right, uh, I'm gonna show you how to really spot a fake account. Uh, here's Robert. Let's take Robert here. Um, Robert, uh, Robert is a interesting looking guy so and his account was made at 1 56 a.m. Uh, you're you're going to take a copy of the link of his picture then you're going to go out to Google 
uh, for Google, you will want to do an image search. Uh, you're going to paste your URL in here. You're going to search by image. Uh, as you can see, best guesses, people with face tattoos. Uh, so let's click on that. Uh, look at that. That looks like Robert right there. Let's click on him. And it's a vice.com article. Uh, people with face tattoos. Let's click on to this article. Uh, so this is what they do. They go out and they find model pictures or just random pictures. And, oh, well, here he is. Uh, let's get scroll down here. Does it give us his real name? Uh, right here. Gavin, 24 years old from Houston, Texas. Lives in Troy, New York. Hmm. Well, I thought he was Robert. And making Facebook accounts at 1.56 a.m. Uh, that's your best bet on how to find fake Facebook accounts. Um, I did report a couple of these to Facebook. Um, just to give clarity to myself that this is exactly what was going on. That way I'm just not throwing out wild accusations. And this is what I got back from them. Uh, remove the profile you reported because it violated community standards. All right, here's a conversation I had with Spreadshirt. I thought this was a North American competition. It seemed I'm the only one with North American voters. Plus, two designs on here have received likes from fake accounts made hours before the deadline and voted using around 100 of their own shop pages. Then I got the reply, hey, Nick, uh, the voting and the contest is open internationally. Okay, okay, I get that now. However, we want the voting process to be fair, and it seems we have to work on a more bulletproof system. We will revise the voting process for next time. As it currently stands, the design with the most likes wins. Should say, the one with the most fake votes wins. All right, in the end, I really don't know what we're trying to get out of this. Uh, maybe just shining a little light on bad practices that need to be fixed over at Spreadshirt. Like I said, the product is good, and we've loved them. Um, but what you guys just did was bad. That's bad business ethics. Um, it's not how things are run. If we had a contest on our page and we've seen somebody doing something like this, we would eliminate them from this contest. Um, so in sense, if Spreadshirt would have done the right thing and eliminated these two, then the person that finished in third would end up in first and then we would end up in second. Um, where we probably should have been rightfully uh, because you know, cheating isn't right. It's not right. Um, and this person should probably be ashamed that they did it. But, you know, they've seen $500 and $250 prizes on the line. They went out and cheated to get it. Alright guys, um, thanks for watching. It's not one of our upbeat videos. It's probably one of our most downer videos. Um, but it's something that had to be done. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, if you guys have made it this far. Uh, always remember that brick time is family time. Um, we're going to keep our heads up. Uh, we've been hit with demonetization. Uh, we've had this contest fall apart. <laughs> um, yeah, um, It's been a rough start to 2018, but uh, headstrong, keep on going. Alright, All right, Brickhead Nation. Keep your guys' heads up. More fun videos are coming. I promise. See ya.